Hi, my name is Avery, and I travel full-time working as an adventure filmmaker. In today's video, I move into my 1977 Toyota Chinook and immediately break down. I just wanted to jump in real quick and say if you're interested in supporting the channel directly, I uh, just set up a Patreon, and if you want to see any details, uh, if not, I'll leave a link in the description. I've been quiet on YouTube for the last couple of months because I've been in the Seattle area house-sitting, staying with family, and working on some film projects, as well as selling my Forerunner to buy the Chinook. After finishing the crazy rushed build in a friend's driveway, I was so excited to finally be back on the road, I packed up all my stuff in just a couple hours and tossed it in the back without organizing it all. So the first couple nights were a tad chaotic and messy, but so beautiful it was hard to pick up the camera. I stayed out on the Olympic Peninsula, enjoying perfect summer weather, exploring by bike, and swimming in freezing streams. I even stumbled on an amazing old railroad bridge. The high steel bridge is over 400 feet in the air and spans almost a quarter mile. It was built in 1929 to haul timber out of the Olympic Mountains and has since been converted to a single lane bridge you can drive over. After a few nights in Washington, I make my way towards Oregon, and just before crossing the bridge into Astoria, I happened upon Chinook County Park and obviously had to stop for some photos. The first few hours of my drive south through Oregon included some gorgeous views and a random pea stop where I found a school of salmon in a little creek. And then things got interesting. My rear tire blew out in Salem after an encounter with a giant steel spike, and luckily I was able to inflate it and get it patched pretty quickly. Well, I got my tire fixed, but I am at O'Reilly's because I noticed one of the front wheels is getting pretty hot and I want to make sure it's safe to drive on for a bit longer until I get to a better spot to, to work on stuff. Typically that's sign of a sticking brake, so I found an auto parts store to get the jack out and investigate. So I still haven't figured out what exactly the brake problem is, but my upper ball joint is also uh, completely blown out. You can see how much grease is leaking out, so that's actually, it's kind of good that um, this happened because I might not have noticed that and if your ball joint fails your wheel can actually fall off so and even on newer cars it's definitely something to watch out for. Alright well I got the uh, new caliper in, uh, brakes are bled at least pretty well so the brakes should be okay now. Uh, now I just need to figure out about the ball joint. And uh, yeah, this just goes to show you not everything about van life is perfect, um, especially when you're driving an older rig, but honestly this can happen on even newer cars too, so it's good to, to stay on top of things and this is something, it's routine maintenance that I should have I should have just taken care of. It's kind of on me, but I'm definitely glad I got a flat tire, which uh, made me pull over and I ended up noticing that the wheel was hot. So. I 
her to do work like this myself as a shop would have charged over a grand and may not have even had any openings for a week. Well, I've been here about 10 hours now. Um, been hung up on a grease fitting for the ball joint for the last like hour, but I just got another part and hopefully that's gonna help. All right, I think I got it finished. That was a little issue there. I had to buy a couple different special nozzles until I got one that worked because it was really finicky. But uh, yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna clean up, um, go buy some food at Taco Bell or something. and. It's uh, 8.30, I think I got here at like 11, um, something like that. I think I'm done, so fingers crossed for test drive. After a very long, very hot, and very sweaty and greasy day, I finished the brake caliper and ball joint and felt comfortable enough to continue on. I was feeling pretty wiped out but got some food at Taco Bell and kept driving about an hour to a really nice rest stop. And the next day, I took a gorgeous and slightly terrifying mountain pass into Bend, um, which is my destination for the summer, at least for a couple weeks. Okay friends, that's where I'll leave you for now, but thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.